So IID is all about generating evidence, but it's not generating evidence just for the sake of it, <clears throat> or to have uh, an increased number of reports in our website. It's actually generating evidence to inform decision making and practice, and therefore to help decision maker and practitioner to have better tools and, and information uh, to improve people's lives. By better evidence, uh, we as the authors who produce the paper and those involved in these initiatives, um, we mean evidence which is not just robust, but is actually also timely, and evidence that reach the right people at the right time. So if we want to use a catchy phrase, we could say that better evidence is about generating the right type of evidence for the right people at the right time. Um, and this is because it links to the point you know, that I made before. Um, that you know, uh, evidence needs to inform decision making and practice. So we started the conversation with colleagues in IID and uh, colleagues uh, of other organizations <coughs> to explore what makes evidence important in uh, decision making and in practice. And we came up with a checklist which has elements such as <coughs> the triangulation of the information, but also the fact that evidence needs to be communicable, the fact that evidence <coughs> needs to take into account local knowledge and local issues, uh, as well as uh, the importance of challenging our own bias when we gather and collect evidence. And we came up with a checklist and with a philosophy um, that can be used uh, to assess uh, whether the evidence that we are producing is actually useful and good enough. Um, but this is just the beginning of a conversation. We don't pretend to have the answer. We just want to uh, kick off this important debate within the sector to learn what others think about the evidence and to share our own experiences. The papers provide a toolkit of different methods uh, that uh, IID researchers and evaluators uh, have used uh, to produce uh, uh, good evidence. And um, they look at the strengths and the weaknesses and the blind spots of each method against the checklist that we have produced um, together with uh, other colleagues uh, in the sector. And uh, we think they provide actually uh, some very interesting case studies of uh, how the methods were used by, uh, by IID researchers and evaluators. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, they provide some insights on what these methods can deliver, but also on where the challenges are. So we hope that this could be used by uh, funders, organizations, uh, and, um, and uh, researchers. Um, and we hope that uh, um, this will generate a discussion as well uh, around the different methodologies. Some of these methodologies are participatory approaches um, used with uh, local communities. Others are uh, innovative methodologies in impact evaluation. Uh, and others are just hybrids uh, between uh, different methods. So this is what they are, are a collection of tools um, which have been assessed against uh, our checklist of what constitutes better evidence.